Hi, I'm Morris Jones, Mojo at BridgeMojo.com. I want to show you how I prepare classes for SharkBridge using uh, Bridge Composer to make PBN files for a complete class in Shark. Uh, I have here the teacher's manual for uh, the Play of the Hand series, Play of the Hand in the 21st Century. This is uh, part of the ACBL Bridge series, and you can download this from the ACBL website. This is uh, Bridge Composer, and I have here a, uh, a sample that's in progress of Lesson 5. Here's the Diamond 5 example. And you can see here I've done exercises 1 and 2. So I'm going to add uh, exercise 3, and I'm going to put in the example hands and maybe one of the exercise hands. So I'm going to create a new board, and I do that with either a keyboard shortcut or with uh, the menu command. Uh, this is exercise 3, so I'm going to put this as the first one of exercise 3, and then I'll start putting in hands. Uh, they like to use the diamonds for this one, so I'm going to say no spades and no hearts. I'll just put in diamonds. In the south hand, um, I'll put in ace-king, jack-2. Now, in this case, what we can see here is that we don't have all of our cards, but we do have a few of the diamonds. And while I'm here, I'm going to make myself a note that this is exercise three, example A. So when I look at this later in SharkBridge, it will have everything there. Now this is an, an entry exercise. So we're going to fill out the rest of the hand. These are not provided, of course, in the, in the examples. But if we want to be able to play these and demonstrate them and actually have the students play them, then uh, we need to be able to have the rest of the hand. So we've got six in there. Let's put in for, uh, seven more diamonds so that they're all there. Seven, six, five, four. I think that will do. And what you'll see here now is that um, we have all of the diamonds in place. And that's not really sufficient because we want to be able to demonstrate how you can get stuck if you don't have uh, an entry involved, uh, especially to get to the long side and you play the cards in the wrong order. So I'm going to add some spades. I'm going to put the uh, ace of spades in the top hand, and I'll put uh, a few spades in the bottom hand, the two, three, four. Let's put the, the five, six up here. And let's put in some spades in the east and west. Let's put in the king, queen, jack, and maybe the uh, ten, nine, eight. So that gives us not, not all the cards, but we do have uh, seven cards in a couple of hands and five cards in a few hands. So we have our example suit, we have the diamonds, and for my second suit I like to use a different color, the spades. That's not going to be important. So we're close, but now we need to create a contract and a first trick for this hand so that we can actually play the hand in Shark and the students could actually play the hand and experiment with it. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put in an auction. North is the dealer. So I'm going to make South the declarer by having South bid 3 no trump and then pass out the hand. And then I'm going to put in some cards. I'm going to have West make the opening lead of the two of clubs. North will follow with the three. East follows with the four. And South follows with the five. So let's put in that first trick, the club two, the club three, the club four, and the club five. And let's see how this looks now. So we have uh, six cards in north, seven cards here, eight cards here. But I think this is enough that we can actually demonstrate the hand. This is exercise 3A. So before we carry on, I'm going to save, save the hand right now and set these aside for a moment. And let's open uh, SharkBridge and test it out and make sure it's working. I have a SharkBridge session here. Uh, I'm going to add, let's see, you know, I've got all the tables I need. What I need is the teacher's table here and the load deals button, the deal library here. You'll find that my deal library is always empty because I keep all of my classes in PBN files. So we're going to import this PBN file that we just created the example from lesson five. I'm going to scroll down to exercise 3a and you can see here why I put those comments in the PVN file so I can always see where I am. And here's the hand that we just created. Uh, I can put the cards up 
Let me log into a table first and, and put myself at uh, south on a table. I can put the cards up, but of course I can't play the hand at this point. I can't demonstrate the hand at this point. I can put it up with an auction that has the auction here, or I can say play with preset tricks. And what's great about this is that when I have an auction, 3 no trump with south as the declarer, the first trick has been played, the 2, 3, 4, 5 of clubs. And this gives me the opportunity, if I turn the, run the robots, I can actually play the hand the wrong way. And we can see how that would kill us. So we've won the first trick. And now we maybe we could overtake, of course, but we know how that goes. And so um, what, what can we do now? We've managed to strand two winners in, the, in our hand, and there's no way to get to them. And of course, I can go back. I can restart the hand by doing play, set, uh, pre, uh, play with preset tricks. And we can now, running the robots, of course, we can play it in the correct order. The fun thing about this is that the students actually get to play the hand and experiment with it, just as you can demonstrate the, the exercise and how all that works. OK, I'm going to set this aside for a moment. Um, I'll set these back over on my other monitor where I'm not using them. And I'm going to bring Bridge Composer back up. and We're going to do this again for the second example in the exercise. I'm going to do that by copying this board. I'm going to use Alt-B, Board, Copy, C, and then Board, Paste, P. And now I've got a new copy of of uh, the exercise three board. You can see I've got two entries in here for exercise three. This is the second one that I'm editing right now. I'll change this to exercise three B, which is going to be this example here. So the nice thing about doing a copy and a paste is that most of the hands that you want to use are ready to go, or most of the pieces of a hand, things like the contract and so on. Now for this example, I want to be able to get back to the south hand, but not the north hand. So I'm going to move the ace of spades, and I'm going to trade it with the four of spades in the south hand. So I'll put the four of spades in north and the ace of spades in south. And I'm going to take all the uh, diamonds out, and I'm going to set them up again from scratch. So we've got a good example for each of the, each of the hands. You can see what I've got here. Let me do an OK at this point, I'll click OK, get the warning about them being a partial hand. I have my first trick. I have my, my spade suit set up so that I can get an entry back to my hand, but I don't have the diamonds in. So let's do board edit, and let's put in the diamonds as they're called for in the example. Ace King 863, and in the south hand, 542, and let's be sure and put uh, the rest of the diamonds somewhere. I'll put the queen jack 10 in east and the 9 7 in west. Now, this should give us a good hand that we can use as an example. It looks like I can get back to my hand in the south, but I can't get to the dummy at all. So, I'm going to save this and let's test this, uh, test this hand in Shark Bridge. So, I'll bring over my deal loader and my teacher's table. I'm going to go back. I'm going to delete the old copy of the Diamond 5 example here. I'm going to import the new one that I just created. And we'll go to Exercise 3B. Let's bring up my example class classroom table here. So I'm going to say a load preset tricks. That brings up all of the tricks. I can say run robots. I can now actually have the students experiment with the hand, winning the first two tricks instead of ducking which we know is the wrong thing to do, of course. And um, let the opponents win the third diamond trick. And we'll see that now, of course, we're stuck and we're stranding two diamonds. So this looks like it's going to work for me. And I've got my second exercise all set to go. All right, I'm going to set this aside again. And I'm going to do one more example where we put in a full hand. Um, this is my, my work in progress of my uh, Diamond Lesson 5 example. I'm going to scroll down to the first full hand that we play in the exercise. Here's uh, deal number one of the sample deals. So I'm going to create a new board. 
let's see, board new. And in this case, rather than say exercise nine in here, I'm going to call it board board one because that will set the dealer for me. Um, and I'll put in my examples here, exercise nine. And I always make myself a note of what the final contract and who the declarer will be. Four spades north. Now you put in spades, of course, by being backslash s, and that makes a little spade symbol, backslash h for the heart symbol, and so on. Uh, so I get that just from, from looking at the uh, teacher's manual here, the teacher's guide. Now it's time to put in the actual cards. So I'll go board edit. And uh, I'll go Alt N. That puts the cursor in the field for the north hand. And so I'm going to enter the cards spades, hearts, diamonds, clubs with the period in between. And if you can touch type, this actually goes very quickly. So it goes queen, king, queen, seven, three, uh, queen, five, two, nine, four, ace, king, queen, jack, tab to the east one, ten, five, jack, nine, four, queen, jack, ten, eight, three, nine, seven, three. The south hand, 8642, ace king 86, king 52, 106. The nice thing is, is that is, is the way it's almost self-verifying. If I put in a card that's accidentally already been entered, I just put in a typo, it flashes and it plays the sound and it warns me that I've got a, a bad card in there. And if the first three are incorrectly, it just fills in the fourth hand naturally because it knows what to do. And then I always put in the auction, uh, I'll follow along, and north is going to open one no trump, east passes, south is going to use the stamen convention, two clubs, west passes, north is going to say two spades, and south is going to say four spades, and that ends the auction. I also like to put in the opening lead, which would be the diamond queen. So I have all of that at my fingertips in shark when I create the hand. And you see here we have a full hand record with an auction, a lead, a note to myself of what the contract is and should be. And I'm going to save this with my example PBN file. All right, let's test it in Shark. Testing is always important. Uh, I will, you know, I'll make up most of a lesson before I go through and test them, but I always have typos that need fixing or play problems that I need to fix. And um, this is the only way to do that. I'm going to delete the old set, and I'm going to import the new one that I just edited. And down at the bottom here is exercise nine, uh, and I'm going to bring that up and let's let's check it. Let's do a little play test at the table. I can do a play, and I can talk about talk about the hand with my teacher's table here. I can show all the cards if I like, of course. Make this a little bigger just for fun. Um, and I can hide the cards. I can walk through the, uh, the bidding and the play like this because I've got my example right here. It's sort of a guideline. I also have, of course, the teacher's manual running on an iPad that's in front of me as I talk about it. And I don't have to do all of that, of course. I can jump back to play preset auction and I can put the uh, students in the hand and ready to play and uh, let them make an opening lead and, and do that. Or I can say play preset tricks and it actually makes the opening lead for me. So now I can talk about planning the play of the hand and how to make uh, four spades in this contract. So uh, that's about it. I will say that for the purposes of this recording I have reduced the resolution of my screen so that things would mostly look as sharp as I could get them to in the YouTube recording. But I do use a double HD monitor, 4K monitor, and I have two of them connected to my computer. And you can only see half of them now, but off to the side I have the SharkBridge Teacher's Console, and I have um, uh, other windows that I might need for teaching a class. And this is the only way I can really get enough real estate to teach uh, four or five tables of, of lessons for beginning bridge. And uh, once all the testing is done, and uh, then I've got my PBN file. I'm all set to go, and I'm ready to load and teach class. I hope this was useful. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll, good luck teaching your classes. Bye-bye.